Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I was literally just having a play around yesterday and I thought I'd record it. So I got Sandy Glow. This one is really gorgeous. This is a Neo Nail gel polish and it's one of my absolute favourites. It's like, uh, it's I want to say glittery, but it's not even... It's not even like a glitter, it's like, it's like a gel polish with like flakes through it and the coverage is absolutely insane. I'm only going to apply, I mean it's that good, I'm only going to apply one coat onto each of these nails and each, oh, it's just, I love it. They do do um, different colours of these as well. Isn't that just stunning? That is a really, really gorgeous champagne colour. Right, now I've got the White Rose gel paint and I've got this old... I don't even know what it is, brush, and it's good for stippling. So I'm putting a little bit of gel paint on the end of it. And if you like, look, dab it, you get this nice sort of, I think it's called stippled. Um, and it, it's going to create like, we're going to dip dab, right? You want to make sure you don't have masses on the end of your brush. Otherwise, it's just not going to, it's going to lose the, the effect. But we're just going to sort of tap around the outside of this nail. Now, oh, if I was to do it again, I probably would have done it over a plain colour because you kind of lose the effect on this metallic kind of flaky gel polish but i'm kind of wanting to leave the center and just do a border of like to make it look a little bit frosted do you see pop that in the lamp to cure actually don't do it yet do this one first and then cure it because it's going to save a little bit of electricity i'm all about saving pennies <laughs> So we're going to do exactly the same. Don't oversaturate the end of your brush. Teddy, shush, please. I'm trying to do a voiceover, darling. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we've got two. We're actually going to do three. But the third one, I'm not going to do the snowy kind of frosted look. Right, now we're going to take the dry top matte. So this is a matte top coat with a non-tacky layer. This kind of... Oh, I wanted to do this because I'm putting crystals on. But... I decided like at the end when you see the finished nail it kind of disguises the whole you, you almost can't even see the stippled look I'm wondering if maybe it's because there's quite a lot of like crystal coverage on the nail but pop it in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds it would look really nice actually if it was if it was just left um, I mean you can still just about see it so it feels nice too it's so smooth oh i love it when it's so smooth right i've got some crystals from the crystal parade and i'm using my preciosa crystals so the first ones here are emerald and these are all they're mixed sizes so in here i've got five eights and twelves and then i've got light siam again preciosa ones fives sevens tens and twelves and what's this one? Oh, this is a festive mix this was a nail art mix i don't know if this is Preciosa or Swarovski, um, but it's pretty. And it's got little snowflakes in, which I'm going to use one of those snowflakes in a minute. If you are not very, I do you know what I was feeling? I was feeling confident yesterday, so I am taking the Crystal Totalist Gem Glue from Crystal Parade, and I am creating my entire reef. So I'm going to create a circle with the gem glue in the area where I want my leaf, where I want the crystals to go. Now, if you are not very confident, you can do it bit by bit. But I thought because it's a circle and I'd probably end up with a really wonky circle, I would just go for it. I just thought, you know what, be brave, put your big girl pants on and just do it. And then into that gem glue, I'm randomly taking some of the Emerald Preciosa crystals and then I'm going to add some of the red ones. Now, I want more green than red because the red ones are just supposed to be like little bits of holly, I suppose. They could be baubles. And then I decided that it wasn't big enough. So I'm going to put a little bit of gem glue around the inside of the reef to make it a bit thicker. We want a bushier reef. There we go. And then I'm going to just do what I've done before just start adding some of the crystals to the to the gem glue and I'm all the time I'm doing this I want to make sure that it's still uh, like symmetrical it's still got a nice rounded sh actually it's more oval in the end but I'm blaming the nail because the nails not you know it's it's a long stiletto nail although I did snip the end off and you are going to have some little gaps because I have some, some, I've got gaps where the crystals I've got are too big. So they're not going to fill the gap, but 
this is where your caviar beads come in so i'm going to take some gold caviar beads these are from the crystal parade as well and in any gaps that i feel need a little bit of bulking up or i've got some exposed gem glue i'm just going to place some of these little caviar beads and i think the gold goes really nicely oops nearly dropped my phone yeah, so the gold goes really nicely with the red and green. I think red, green and gold are all very sort of like traditional Christmas colours. And I absolutely love, I love traditional Christmas. Oh my God. Oh, I love it so much. I can't wait. I tell you, I'm so excited for Christmas. I'm so excited. Yeah. Oh, I love Christmas. I was looking at Christmas. I haven't got any Christmas cards. I was looking for Christmas cards this morning. I guess I've got to send some Christmas cards, haven't I? <gasps> right, so when you are happy... We're gonna pop that in the lamp to cure so that everything sets into place. I was really pleased with that. I thought I'd muck it up completely, but I was really happy with it. Then I'm gonna tip out this festive mix and I'm gonna take one of those snowflakes. I wish they sold these separately. They're so cute. Aren't they cute? I love them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put with my detailer brush, it's not actually my one, it's, a, it's one that I use for just gem glue. It's one that I don't mind if it gets ruined. Um, I'm going to put a little line coming down from the reef and a little blob of glue at the end. And I'm going to put some caviar beads, the gold caviar beads, like a string of caviar beads. And then underneath those, I'm going to place that little snowflake. And I just thought it was just like a little bit of, you know, just a little bit extra. And then I was faffing around a little bit, so I did cut out some footage. But once you're happy, stick it in the lamp. And that is our little wreath with a dangly snowflake nail. Now I'm going to do another one, but this one's going to be a lot easier. I'm going to use Lady Green. I'm going to put a little bit on my extremely tatty palette. Well used palette, I should say. I have to try and clean it. If I clean it off, I'm going to put loads of scratches on it. Um, and my Nail Sugar Natalie Mugridge Detailer Brush. I love the crystals in the handle so much. And the ultra fine bristly end. <laughs> <laughs> so with this, I am going to create a couple of holly leaves. Now when I do holly leaves, I do find it a lot more difficult doing this with gel polish. Because gel polish is a bit runnier. It's runnier than gel paints. Gel paints tend to be more pigmented and a bit stiffer, but I don't have a green neo nail gel paint, like a dark green, you know, like a holly green colour. So I'm working with what I've got and I'm going to create a holly leaf. Actually, it's a little bit skinny, so I'll try, try to make it a little bit bigger. But I thought, do you know what? I'm going to leave it because I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> You know, sometimes when you faff too much and you think, oh, I've faffed too much and I've totally ruined it now. I don't want that to happen. I'm going to do another one coming down at an angle this way. So they're kind of going off at an angle. So exactly the same. I like to do two very pointed ends and then like three points coming off the sides. Do you, you know what I mean? Three points each side and then a point at the end. I think that makes sense and I'm gonna make sure those round those ends on the bottom look a little bit too rounded so I'm gonna just try and make those a little bit more pointed in a minute these bits here there we go, a little, oh, a little bit more pointed, but not massively. There we go, pop it into the lamp to cure. Then over the top of those, I'm going to put some dry top coat. So again, because this is a little bit fiddly, I'm going to put a little bit on my palette. Clean off my brush between a wipe. And then I'm just going to use my brush to outline, well not outline, to go over the top of the holly. And that's going to give the holly as well a little bit of height. So it's going to look like it's sort of embossed. I'm going to pop this one, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to pop this one in the lamp now it's done because I don't want the top coat to run off. Otherwise we'll end up with a slightly shiny, a, a matte background with like a little bit of shininess where we've, where it's run over the holly, do you know what I mean? So we're going to do the same to this one. 
If you want to, you can put veins on it. I actually didn't. I wish I had done it now. I, that other one, look, it did, it did leak over a bit there, but never mind. And then I'm going to place some gem glue where the holly holly leaves touch now they don't quite touch i did leave a little bit of a gap on purpose because i want to place some of these light cyan crystals so these are going to be our holly berries and i, I don't want to put too many um you can put some i've put two little ones and three slightly bigger ones i had to put a little bit more, little bit more glue there because i didn't have enough glue there there we go so they go i thought five five i thought five berries was enough i thought that was that was all right and i'm going to pop that in the lamp and that's just like two really easy Christmas sort of crystal nails. Easy peasy. And then I thought we can't just have two. So I thought this one is even easier. As, well, as long as you've got a long nail. Because we're going to write a word on it. <laughs> so um, Sandy Glow. Pop it in the lamp. Again, I'm only doing one coat because it covers amazingly. Then I'm going over with the dry top. Which is a, uh, it's a top coat. A glossy top coat with a non-tacky layer. I like these. I'm all for convenience. I've decided I like these ones more than the, the the ones with the tackiness. Then I've got the Neo Nail White Art Gel. So this is a thick. It's like um. It's got the consistency of um, like a whipped cream, but and not not too whipped whipped cream. Um, I can't think of the cream. But I'm gonna write with this Noel. Now this has not got a tacky layer. So once we have written this on. That is it, that will be the nail finish. You don't have to top coat it or anything. So it's kind of like, you can do swirls with these um, and stuff like that. And you can go over again, you can give it a second coat to make it more uh, 3D. So you can do some really good fun stuff with these, these, these gels. They've got different colors as well. But I am just gonna write Noel because I thought, you know what, we'll keep it simple. I didn't want a really, really long word like Christmas. Or I didn't want to write Merry Christmas because I thought that's just not gonna fit in. And also, Noel is because there's only four letters. You could probably get this on. You could probably get this on a smaller nail as well. I mean, you'd have to obviously make the letters smaller. But there we go. Easy peasy. Pop it in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. And then we've got three easy Christmas ideas nails i don't even know that this is a whole set i don't even know i was just having a play around yesterday so there we go anyway i hope you like them if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing it is friday so have an amazing weekend and i will see you beautiful lot on monday with a brand new video don't forget links to websites and discount codes will be in the description box for you love you all and i'll see you on monday